This is Ryan Elliott for Boxing Social in association with Betfred. I'm in Essex today. Uh, we've just had the final press conference, had the Golden Contract Tournament Saturday night. With me in the tournament, Liam Conroy. Liam, first and foremost, how are you doing, mate? I'm good, thank you. That's good to hear. Uh, let's talk about your participation in this tournament. You were picked by Andre Dillon. Talk to me about that matchup and what your thoughts were when he picked you yesterday. Um, I kind of expected him to pick me and I seen how the draw was going. I thought I thought he would prefer to box me than as I bet and I think from what I've seen our styles match up pretty good. I think it's gonna be um, a good fight. It's a good fifty fifty fight and um should be one the fans will enjoy. I was about to say that a lot of people when this draw were made were citing your fight uh, with Andre Sterling as one that could really catch fire. Do you see it as a potential fight the night contender? Yeah, I do. Um but anything can happen on the night, we'll have, we'll have to see, but um Hopefully it plays out and it's an entertaining one for the fans. We both, we both um, put on a good performance. Obviously, you largely during your pre preparation, you didn't know who you were going to be facing in this tournament. You found out as, as late as yesterday. Did you watch much of Andre last night and what have you seen of him as well? Um, yeah, I hadn't seen much of him before, but I had a little watch of him last night. And um, from what, that's what drew me the conclusion that it's going to be a good fight. He's, um, he's a game lad. He's come off a floor to win, come off a floor to lose. So... I think it's going to be a long, hard night, but um, we've been working a lot on improving myself as a better all-round boxer, and I think that'll be the difference ultimately tomorrow, on Saturday. For a brief while there, it looked like we could see a rematch between yourself and, and Stephen Ward. Uh, he elected not to pick you. Was it in the back of your mind that perhaps you might be you might be going straight back in with him again? I never, I never thought about it really. I was prepared to box anyone until until I was stood there waiting to get picked, and he had the ball, and I was thinking we might be doing this again sooner than. I quite thought, but like I say, you have no idea how the draw is going to go. You have no idea what other people are thinking. So I haven't thought about who too much until until yesterday. I've just been trying to improve as a boxer all around, and hopefully I'll show that on Saturday. It's obviously such a huge opportunity for every fight that goes into the Golden Contract Tournament. What would a win in this tournament do for your career and for your life as well? Oh, it would change my career and my life totally, wouldn't it? Um, <clears throat> to get that contract, it would be, um, be massive for me and my family. It's... Um, I'm so hungry to get it, as will everyone in the tournament, so that's why the tournament's going to be so entertaining, isn't it? It's going to bring the best out in everyone. I found it interesting that you said going into a tournament like this, you don't necessarily prepare for what could be in other opponents, it's just about being the best you. Do you feel in the last few weeks building up to this, you've, you've managed to achieve something close to that, being the best possible version of yourself going into this? Yeah, every fight I'd look to improve on something, I'll, I'll take the, the downsides to the last fight, whether it's a win or a loss. I try and improve everything, that's what it's all about for me. It's not necessarily about winning everything. I never promise to um, retire and beat, and, and beat everyone, but I just want to um, keep testing myself at the highest level possible and keep improving. And um, this, this golden contract's a, a great opportunity to do that. Obviously, there's eight of you going in. There'll be four of you remaining after Saturday. Who do you see as the biggest threat to yourself in this tournament? Is there anyone you've looked at as a, as a possible biggest threat? No, not really. I think everyone's pretty even everyone's got their own strengths and um everyone's a nightmare on a given night for a the each individual reason so um there's no one i'm looking at thinking i wouldn't like to fight to be honest i've just got to prepare myself and become the best all-around boxer like i keep saying and and be prepared for any different style liam i'll leave the final word to you before i let you go what can fans expect to see from liam conroy saturday night it's an improved liam from last time and hopefully a good boxing display and the win Thank you very much for speaking to Boxing Social. Thank you.